Oh my god, I got all four of them! You stand on and the that's a full wipe. And that's it. That's a full wipe. You will we'll never, never see, see your, your loved, loved ones, ones again. again. <laughs> 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 Hello again, folks. Sinnoh here, your new home for everything Resident Evil Resistance. And today I am going to bring you a quite uh, commonly requested build guide for Spencer Oswell, the way that I like to play him. And before you're thinking about it, no, this isn't actually a gun and trap heavy build. In fact, there's only one gun and there's no traps in it, which you can see on the screen behind me. No, this is my preferred way of playing Spencer. Actually, this video has a little twist in it. There's two builds kind of contained within it. I'm going to show you how I used to play this build first and foremost, and then I'm going to show you how I now like to play it, which is the core strength Spencer build. So you're kind of getting two for one here with like some tweaks. Um, but this is something I discovered on stream earlier today, actually. In fact, it's 4 a.m. for me and I'm recording this and I'm so excited about it and it's so strong. Like I haven't been beaten on it yet. Uh, and most of the time I was beating them in area one um, that I just really wanted to share it with you guys straight away. So the order that I do this might be a little back to front, but the overall way that the video is structured will be the same as my other build guides. I'll explain how to make it, then I'll show you some of it in action, and then the pros and cons at the end. So, first and foremost, the cards. So this is my preferred card layout for the build, and this doesn't change depending on both of the builds that I am showing you today. Um, it's a very creature heavy build once again. Uh, you need to have, for instance, Alex leveled up to, I think it's rank 7 for tough zombie infectious. You have to level up a net for the liquor. Um, but basically, what I do here is kind of like a buff heavy build, but with a few tweaks that play more into Spencer's strengths. First of all, unlike Annette, Spencer's creatures don't really have as high HP, and I'm not using equipment to buff their HP, so I'm only going for two enhancers. Berserker, so that you're more likely to actually hit your opponents and so you move faster, and Energy Leech so that you get large amounts of bioenergy back when you do hit them. Um, this can vary depending on what you use it for. I think if you get a grab off with an IV and it has Energy Leech on it, you basically get all your meter back. But even swipes can give you like one or two units very quickly. To um, back up the enhancers, or to use the enhancers on, uh, we have four creatures here. We have Tough Zombie Infectious and Normal Zombie Infectious. Some people would say that Normal Zombie Infectious is maybe not worth it. I find that having both of these zombies really helps you get the infection down on the survivors rather than just the Tough Zombie alone. Uh, we also have Lickers. I love Lickers. I think they work really well, particularly if you buff them up with Berserker and Energy Leech. I know that some people haven't had a lot of luck with this, but for some reason my Lickers get the job done, and with this build you'll have a lot of Lickers running around the field anyway, so it tends to become really chaotic for survivors. Then you have Tough Zombie. Tough Zombie is like the most reliable zombie in the game. It's really good. Uh, good one to control or just to let it do its own thing. And then we have efficiency mod creatures. This build in particular uses this efficiency mod to great success and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, but it makes everything, every creature card, one cost lower when it's in your hand. Then we have uh, turret rifle. Turret rifle is a brilliant card to use on a camera like outside of a room or inside of a room when you want to do like a large pack of zombies and attack the survivors but you also want to pressure the survivors at the same time. So sometimes I'll put lots of zombies in a room and then switch to a camera out in the hallway and as they're just about to barge through the door activate this and what happens is that it means that they don't want to like it, it makes the survivors panic more and it makes them more likely to run into the room and get hit by creatures rather than just standing outside for free and using their firearms against them. Um, but basically you want you to use this to support moments when you're going to attack the survivors a lot. You could also put it on a camera, switch to another camera and control a zombie and have it going off in the background. It basically just works really great for this playstyle part of me and I love turret rifle. Even if sometimes the AI is a little suspect. Sometimes it's a target selection I'm not 100% in agreement with but it works really well for this build. Then we have uh, quick draw. <clears throat> so quick draw is good here because it allows us to shuffle all of our non-mod cards and draw new ones. If you really want to get to a certain enhancer quickly, or let's say you have a lot of enhancers but no creatures down, you can use quick draw to like change the deck up on your hand, like change what you've got in your hand very quickly to try and get the cards that you want. 
and uh, one of the cards you might want to use quick draw in order to get is immobilizing rounds. So I wouldn't really recommend immobilizing rounds that much for something like Buffet, my other build that was creature heavy, because um, a lot of the time the creature AI tries to do grabs on stationary targets when they're all gooed up and it doesn't work. They like glance past it. It works better with Lickers because Lickers do claw attacks and that actually will hit. The reason why we're using immobilizing rounds is that it synergizes so incredibly well with Spencer's ultimate, the disintegration field, which you saw at the start of this video. That's how I managed to set up that play. Um, you can use the first level of this if you don't have the second level unlocked, but I prefer the two fields at once for an extended duration. I find it is more likely to clip the survivors even if you miss and it sets up a harder to pass like barrier so they can't like rescue their teammates as easily. It's just more reliable, I think. Okay, so moving on to the equipment in this deck. So this is what I used to use. I would use Viral Canister 3 for greater infection rate, which I use in conjunction with these infectious zombies. I would use Razor Claw 1, which slightly increases the attack power of creatures. And I would use Advanced Processor 3 for greatly decreased EIS cooldown. So the reason why we use this Advanced Processor 3 is that Spencer has a passive which allows him to recharge bioenergy whenever you use EIS to interact with the environment. So essentially what this means is that every time you lock a door or switch off a light switch, you get bioenergy back and you get quite a lot of bioenergy back for this and it works surprisingly well. Uh, this deck has quite a high skill ceiling. If you get particularly good with your actions per minute and your kind of micromanagement and you can flick through cameras to constantly turn off certain light switches and lock certain doors, you can use this as like a kind of bank of bioenergy that you can generate at a moment's notice and it's extremely strong. However, I'm going to show you how you play Biocore Spencer. So get rid of this. Get rid of this and get rid of this. Are you ready? This is going to be very complex, so make sure you're watching closely. Bulletproof Glass 3 greatly increases the maximum durability of biocores. We want that. Bulletproof Glass 2 moderately increases. We want that. Bulletproof Glass 1. We want that. And finally, for an extra three points, we'll put in Resilient Skin 1 so that the maximum health of creatures is larger. Yes! That is how you make Core Strength Spencer a thing, and that is in conjunction with a passive of one of his skills um, over here. Umbrella Tech. So before I was using Umbrella Tech's passive where door locks are immediately level 3 when you lock them using EIS or traps, and it lowers all EIS cooldowns by one second whenever you use a skill card. But instead, for Bio Core Strength Spencer, we go for Defense System. Area 1 decoy puzzle pieces appear. This is actually surprisingly strong against survivors at the moment and I think it's because a lot of high level survivors have gotten really cocky and they just sort of rush through area 1 without thinking about it and then before they know it they're like hang on we haven't got all the puzzle pieces we need. It like constantly catches out survivors. I'm really surprised by this because I used to rate this pass passive effect part of me very lowly but it actually works surprisingly well against people. You'll maybe see in the footage coming up. Area 2 security device, the activation time is increased, also quite nice, but Area 3 biocore HP is increased. And as with most passives on skills, it is greatly increased. So this combined with these, which are new skills that have been added to the game with the Jill update, it creates biocores that I hear have like thousands of thousands more HP than normal. I haven't tested it myself. Somebody said something ridiculous in my chat, like it was something like 150,000. I'm not 100% sure about that, but believe me, you'll see in the footage a Tyrone and a Samuel with sledgehammers like banging away on a biocore and only managing to get it to about half before they ran out and they'll use up all their repair kits and they won't be able to keep going and you'll just overwhelm them. This is like busted, folks. Top tier play. Um, I cannot believe how effective this is. It is kind of nutso and lots of fun too. Uh, I'll still use the recharge passive of bio activation because it's super strong and that allows you to keep up the tempo. Really, really, really strong. And then for the area two and three special cards, there's mod recycler. I love mod recycler. It's so good. It's so good. One of my favorite cards in the game. It immediately converts all mod cards in your hand into bio energy and it scales off of the cost of the mod that you're using. So efficiency mod creatures happens to have a cost of 10. So when you use mod recycler on it, it puts it like it shuffles it into your deck and it gives you like six energy or something ridiculous like that it is huge so you can summon a couple of creatures 
then like with the mod in your hand, then use mod recycler and then summon like a couple more creatures in one like big long combo. It is kind of ridiculous how much bioenergy Spencer gets his hands on. And then for area three, we're using hypercharge. Hypercharge is the reason why I don't use discount in my main deck of cards because in area three you get hypercharge, which is kind of like discount but plus one. So everything gets lowered by cost by about two. This is like extremely economical. You can start summoning like tough zombies for one cost. It, it really just all of this deck is bonkers, honestly. It has to be seen to be believed. They don't really stand a chance. Half the time they wouldn't even get to area three. In fact, more than half the time. I streamed this earlier today and I think I, like two groups got to area three organically and one group I let get to area three. That's how good this deck is. It's just really, really hard to beat. Um, Spencer makes so much bioenergy and he keeps spawning all these tough zombies. You just can't really keep up with it. Take a look at the footage. The first game was a group that I thought would get to area three and well, let's just say things didn't work out for them and you'll see why. Then I included another game where the group managed to get to area three and well, you can see the light of hope extinguish in their eyes when they start hitting those bio cores uh, and after that I will hit you up with the pros and cons so enjoy this footage here we okay these guys are gonna make it to area 3 here we go 100% these guys are gonna make it I will undo this unjust travesty done to me by time and I will rule over all mankind. No, here. Um, this room? No. Oh, Jesus, they're already here. I am coming to Give me that you. leg. Give me that leg. Okay. She's hacking. I don't want her to get the time. You will need to explore to unlock this. I kind of wasted energy there, but I didn't have much time to prevent them from. Ah, oh, yeah, that was bad. Okay. Uh, lounge. I will tear out your insides myself. <laughs> Oh, he's down, down. Cause he's down, down, and I'm sure we're going down. Go Samuel, ahead, take it. Oh, what? I thought the table would give me some cover there, but oh well. By my touch. Let's just bully Samuel. A child could have found that. A child could have found that. Much longer. They would see to that. Your mortal life has ended. Lock that. Turn the data that off. I harvest. We live on. Lock that for energy. Okay, we're back in. Come into the line of fire. The music almost started up there. Did you hear that? Oh, she's getting munched. She's having a bad time. You can do more than this. Oh, well, let's roll the music. Ah, oh, she's reviving the background, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's gonna get Samuel as well. Oh, sexy Valerie! Take it now. It is so she got it. More. Not a very sporting weapon, but this is no safari. <laughs> I like that voice line. You will never see your loved ones. Nah, they're gonna make it. I think they're gonna make it. Four, three, two, one. I do not have time to waste. Yeah. Slow subjects. Close though. If I spawned a zombie there, they'd just kill it. Oh no, they died! Pigs to me. I really thought they were gonna make it. What the fuck? Suffice for the time being, but I will have to run the test again. Holy shit! And they were a good team. 
They were a really high ranked team. Do you want me to do... Okay, these, these guys have a decent Samuel. Do you want me to... Nah, one more time. My one more time. time. May be short now, Let me smash them one more time. What I learned here today, I could become a god. And if they don't make it next game, I'll go easy. Oh, I don't know. I want to make them have to earn it, but I do want to see the bio cores. Licky boy! To get you. Oh my god. That liquor. Finding the lock is useless without the key. I swear, my liquors are great, and uh, when Swing plays, he gets like the worst liquors. I may allow you to die quickly. Like, not even kidding. Liquor, uh, liquor? Sorry, Swing has like the dumbest liquors I've ever seen before. It's ridiculous. A child could have come into the line of fire. When will you learn? How many times must we dance this dance? Go ahead, take it. Okay. Do not try to hide now. Oh, aren't you clever with your little dodge? All lesser creatures can benefit from my control. I was about to get hacked there. Took you so long to find it? I, shall know I think Spencer gets the dealer at 50, golden dealer. I will not grant you the luxury of choice. I have too many zombies in here, it's a waste. I will tear out your insides myself. Hello, friend. I don't have enough time to spare. Oh my god, these guys are actually gonna make it to area two, can you believe it? They've done it, chat. I'm just doing this for shits and giggles now. They made it! Well done! So many walk into the next test? Good. I shall learn more from a group. I don't really like defending this room very much. I find it a bit awkward, but... Locked. Okay, so... Our boy's in here. Samuel is going to zoom for it. By my touch. So I'm going to put him in here instead. I can't believe this is the group that's making it though. I thought the other group had much more potential, but there you go. Fuck. That was a really good hack. That was like god level hack actually. I'm like losing a lot of my... I am coming to get you. Mm, too slow. Oh, Yorick. My boy. My poor boy. Look how they massacred my boy. But I suppose I kind of misplayed that a little bit. That it is dead. Very well, take the security card. Proceed. I find this room can be quite difficult for them. A lot of the time. Lock this door. I haven't even got to use my ultimate yet, remember chat? Fuck. Ah, oh, this, she's like using that hack at like the perfect time. Stay still. All I need is a moment. I don't know what Jill's up to. I guess she's just clearing it out for them. I don't want to use it just yet. Nah, they'll just kill them. It's a little hard for me to keep track of them because they're all moving in like really weird separate areas. 
I savor the taste of stone. Ah, uh, generator mod. Thank you. A mindless existence. Okay, I'm gonna harass her, but I have to be very careful. Yeah. Okay. Now that you think that I'm not looking. Shit, quickly. No, oh, I couldn't do it in time. Oh, this will do though. Mmm, that was an awkward one. Didn't quite get them. Harass him, because he's got the... He's got the key card, so I should harass him. She could shoot through that, really? Okay. Let them chill your heart. Turret rifle, please shoot it. Oh, you bitch. Oh, this January is really good. She's like perfectly timing everything. Oh, creatures can benefit from my control. Your struggle is not unique, though I do enjoy it. Oh, I needed to get her as well. This isn't going to work. They made it to area three. Good job. You know, sound like you're actually role playing as mastermind. The other group had way more potential. Yeah, you should hear me talk about getting combat data. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is the test. Anything. I have more traps ahead. Need this for bioenergy. Spencer's not as strong here because there's a lot of doors for me to use. Make sure I hit them all. Yeah, they're gonna just use grenades and shit. I don't really want to use my turret just yet. Oh, I'll try it. I hate it when the turret does that. Liquors are okay when that happens. Other zombies just try and grab them too much, so it's kind of a waste. Is somebody running away? I'm making the elevator go up. I don't know how many of them are on it though. Okay, Jill's by herself. Let's see them try and take out this bio core, huh? I am waiting for your death. Not long now. This could be a Oh no! Oh, fuck it. Let's just do this. Good luck with that biocore, lads. They're still going. Still going. Oh my god, it's, it's only just got to half health. That is ridiculous, chat. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. The clock is counting down. It's only just got to half health. <laughs> Look at it! Oh, they're out. They're out. They have nothing else to do. Oh my god, this build is ridiculous. Here, have a turret. You stand on tick tock, tick tock. Oh, they got their first bio core. Well done. This is as anticipated. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> so now that you've seen the core strength Spencer build in action, let's talk about its pros and cons very quickly. Pros are that you can generate bioenergy very easily, um, you're rarely starved, if, as long as you keep kind of flicking between cameras to turn off and on lights and lock doors, um, which requires you to kind of concentrate and learn which cameras look at like which light switches and things like that. You have a bank of bioenergy that you can generate very quickly and easily, um, along with mod recycler, which you get in area two, which allows
allows you to reshuffle your creatures mod for an even even greater bank of energy when required. Another pro of this build is that your area 3 is just so hard to beat. Um, most times survivors will run out of resources when they're trying to kill the bio cores, especially after they kill bio core 1 they have two more to go and the HP bonus that they get is just so high that they will run out of resources killing all your creatures and your bio cores and you pretty much, well that's GG. Once they run out of like decent weapons that's you gonna win the game. Um, another pro of this build is that immobilizing round into the D field combo can actually just win games um, like you saw at the very start of the video. It's just a very strong ultimate that you can use and being able to use immobilizing round so they can't move makes it like really easy to at least get one or two survivors down as long as you hit the immobilizing round and then can place the D field afterwards. Uh, that's kind of segueing into the con very nicely. The double D field, <laughs> double Ds. Uh, can be a little finicky to place. I've had a couple of moments where I just couldn't get it to go on the field because the game didn't like it. If you're having problems with this, sometimes if you press the like place button again, uh, for me it's like I press a number, it kind of snaps to the nearest available position. And also if I hold down the place button, you can rotate it in place to try and see if you can get like the right angle. And this has helped me, but it's not something that the game necessarily makes very clear at first. Um, Another con of this build is it requires you to maintain a fairly high actions per minute, so there's a lot of like um, summoning zombies and then flicking to other cameras and turning off and on lights and locking doors and then switching back to the first one and then putting down more creatures and then buffing up the creatures and then flicking to another camera and then putting turret on it and then flicking to the first camera and then controlling the creature and then attacking the survivors and then jumping back out again and then putting down more creatures. You get what I mean, right? I think you understand the idea I'm getting at here. Uh, if you find yourselves getting kind of overwhelmed quite a lot and you don't have a lot of practice, then you might not really understand why this build is so powerful and you might not be using it to its full potential. And maybe something like a buffet build for a net where it's more about kind of making your army, buffing it up and then it being quite strong would maybe be easier to start off with before you start going to this like frenetic crazy Spencer build where you're constantly flicking between cameras. Um, another con of this, like I kind of just segued into this as well. Nice, I'm on like a roll today. I'm doing really well. Uh, the creatures that you summon are not, not as tough as the nets. You don't have the HP buff. You aren't using enhancer regen because you don't have as much max HP anyway. And in general, your creatures are a little bit weaker. So although I'm using a lot of tough zombies and stuff, do bear in mind that you can accidentally feed survivors time as with any other creature based build if you are summoning in the wrong locations. And also bear in mind that survivors can run away from a room of zombies if they have already done the objectives inside them. So like with the buffet build, make sure that you're putting your resources down in a location that the survivors will have to deal with them and they can't just like run off into the distance and then you have a like death ball room that they no longer will go inside which is completely wasted. So bear those things in mind and I assure you this is probably one of the strongest builds in the game at the moment and you're very likely to win lots of your mastermind games if you follow this. Anyway, regardless, thank you so much for watching another build video by me. I hope you found this really uh, useful. I hope that you have enjoyed watching a Spencer build that isn't just, oh, use guns, because I really don't like using just guns in Spencer. I think just guns is quite weak against any survivor group that knows to just shoot out cameras. And another tip I would give for this very quickly is try not to look through one camera for too long because it's a tell to survivors that you're using that camera for something. Um, particularly if you're using your turret, try and look through another camera and then at the last minute switch to the camera you want to put the turret on and then load it up and sometimes you'll find that that catches survivors unawares. So just a little tip for you at the end of the video. For those of you who have been watching the whole thing, congratulations, thank you so much. Uh, do consider leaving a like and subscribing for more. Regardless, I wish you well in your upcoming Resident Evil Resistance games. I have been Sinnoh, this has been the Core Shrent Spencer build, and goodbye.